back. This one's gonna be short. Because my balloon bounce is working. Now I feel foolish about the four videos that I made earlier today. I guess I'll stop this. Um, so, how did I do it with all those di different variables? Well, the one thing that stuck out as being probably a little more obvious to me is that maybe the answer was to actually have the OpenGDK installed, but not have the Ice-T plugin installed, and to have Sun's Java and Sun's plugin installed. And so I went back in here, and all I did was added the OpenGDK back, OpenJDK back, and it now works. So, um, I guess what, what threw me off was doing a search first to try to find an answer instead of just doing my own experimentation. Or, um, I'm just dumb, which is very possible. Um, I, I, I just get this feeling that there's just something not right about the answer I have. It, it, it is working in mine, it is working in my Ubuntu 1010 here. Um, I just did a kernel upgrade, but you know, looking at the modules, I don't see the modules turned out any much any different. So the modules were not the answer, I guess. That I, I was I put the open JDK in there in part to find out whether the difference in sound modules that were available to my system had anything to do with it. So now I think what I ought to do is just try to figure out what exactly I've got in here that allows me to have sound and what I don't have and since I've just done the upgrade and I don't think I've put a lot of special apps in here yeah I put the GUVC viewer in here and but um, that's gotta be about it so um, First thing I'll do is what I talked about earlier today is I'm just going to run a list of modules. I just did it, so I'll just do that. <laughs> modules after a bunch of after update a bunch of 1010 text. Now I'm not going to say that the the recent security update that I did is the difference. It may or may not be. I don't have that uh, luxury today. On the 14th was the first set of Ubuntu updates that were released, and I. As soon as I saw them, I you know applied them and installed them. It involved you know the Linux kernel and the headers and things like that, and a couple other small things, but it was definitely Linux kernel involved. So anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to print out this file that I just created. So what happens is is when I use that redirect, it creates a file in this subdirectory called modules after update Ubuntu. 10, 10 you know, text, right? Double click on it, just like I was saying earlier, and I can print this out. And again, here I don't see you know, of, of the quote unquote missing modules that I thought I had. <coughs> it was my leading reason oh, all but four hours, four or five, or maybe, no, maybe nine hours ago, but I haven't really looked at this since. Um, I thought that would be the, the leading reason why I wasn't getting sound to Java. Well, that, that's that was flat out wrong. Um, uh, you know, the, the difference between the modules. I don't have a sound PCM OSS module. I have a sound PCM. I have a mixer OSS. Where I don't have a mixer OSS. I don't have a sequence dummy. I don't have a sequence OS, so let's see if there's any difference with the list that I had printed out a few days ago um, with sound. So, uh, ESP audio, into, I'm just comparing the two here. The order's a little bit different, but I don't see any, let's see, do I have sequence MIDI and MIDI event? Yes, I did. Sound sequence device, yes. Sound timer, yeah. I mean, there's. I don't see that there's much anything different here. Now, I will say that the sound module is now using 19 and not just 17. This SND, 
only was using 17 um, modules. You know, if I could see the whole list, I'd see there's only seven. Now there's 19. Supposedly they're being used in connection with that SND. So I wonder what these, these additional things are. HW depth? No. USB MIDI? No. PCM sound? No sound PCM, raw MIDI. No, I still have that. Timer. The sequence that was? <coughs> I don't know, maybe this thing that, luckily for me, I kept the old one here, so let's look. Here's the old one, for, it's 17, so it's got, that's one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> Eight, nine, ten, eleven. So why has it got seventeen there? And then why do I have a value? There's only eleven there. Showing up in this page. You might print out. modules. I think it'd be basically if you have a sound system that works and you boot it and it gives you the Ubuntu song, then it's a matter of software. I think I've at least narrowed that down. And the matter of software is uninstall your ICG plugin and, that, and that's it. That's all you do out of all the suggestions that are out there. Now watch. In two days I'll come back and say that isn't good, but I, I think that's, that's the right answer. And I think that's the right answer for both Ubuntu 10.04 and 10.10. If you uninstalled the OpenJDK and the IC plugin, maybe that's why goofing around with um, changing by sound owls have worked. I, I just don't know. I just get this feeling like I'm missing a piece of the puzzle. Um, since everything's working at least this much, I don't actually want to break it. Now, one thing I am going to do when I come when I go home. The reason why I'm doing this is I'm going to check. In fact, I'm going to print this out lengthwise. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna end up checking. Let me use, let me use landscape to do that. Might as well just show up in the idea. Where are we? You landscape. Thank you. Um, I'm really, I'm really just wondering what happened to my sound system. But at home, I ended up, um, after I ran that offensive post that I had set aside here, I ended up tossing all these notes. <laughs> they're, they're related to sound, this god thing. But anyway, so I think I should take this thing. I probably should look in to find out what this command actually did. Purge, in, purge reinstall Linux sound base. Alza base, Alza. You know, I wonder if the pulse base needed to be reinstalled, but no, I have an old, I have a front end for the pulse GUI. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run some commands here now that I have a working system, and I'm just going to um, I'm going to get a list of all the packages I have installed, and I'm going to take that home with me and I'm compare to the ones I have at home, and I'm also going to compare that list of modules and between the modules and and the packages that are installed, and I've already printed out some config files um, from home and that should be it so I, I just you know and then here I was two days ago talking about how open JDK was crap well it's not actually this this actually open JDK actually gave me sound 
I don't know. It seems like I've been through the looking glass here. But, um, for me to confidently say I think I've solved the sound issue, you no. Know, uh, basically, I've, all I've done is chronicled my little journey here dealing with the sound issue, but it doesn't mean that I've solved anything. I don't think so. I, I really don't. I, I think that there's got to be more to it than just just uninstalling the iced tea plugin and that's it. It just doesn't seem to make sense to me because it, it really seemed like on this partition that I was in, when it was a bunch of 1004 before I did the upgrade, I had, I don't know, maybe I took the advice of these writings here and ended up taking out the open JDK without even testing it scientifically and then I misstepped and then I, I based all my assumptions on that one misstep. And that's how easy it is to screw to screw up. So I guess you know the real answer is get rid of the ice cheap plugin and you're okay. At least for the, at least for Pogo. Now who knows what the ice cheap plugin does or doesn't do. I mean a bunch of put it in there for a reason. So right. <laughs> so anyway, I guess I, I can't complain. Now see now that I've paused. Well I guess the game is almost over with. Three, two, one. Just get rid of my balloons. I want to see if the sound comes back or if it now has problems because I've stopped and paused or what. Yeah, see, that should have made noise right there. So I'm really wondering what it is now. Does the fact that I. No? I had the microphone on when I was. Um, when I was doing this, right? This just, just doesn't make any sense. I'll try. I'll try start. I didn't restart Firefox, so but I, when we... I didn't restart Firefox, but I did start the game again. Let's see if I get sound back initially. Now maybe I still don't have a complete solution. Maybe the sound will only work until I hit pause. You know who knows, right? I'm gonna stop. I don't want to lose this one. <laughs> 